Had a nice rain this morning. Just harvested a basket of cucumbers and tomatoes. Yesterday I put up eight, eight quarts of, four quarts of crushed tomatoes and four, and four quarts of uh, raw packed tomatoes that I just halved and quartered. Got something eaten. It's spread from the hibiscus over to this agastache, but I've yet to see a bug. So I'm not sure what's, don't know what's doing it. It's not messing with these over here. This hyssop's about done. I still see the bumblebees working on it, so I'm not gonna deadhead it yet. I need to read up on if you deadhead not sure but everything's enjoying this rain rain's so much better than water and water and you're just keeping it alive sunflowers this magic roundabout sunflower has just bloomed it's all summer i'll grow them again really pretty and just keeps on I've deadheaded it several times. I just throw them out for the chickens. I will I will leave a few on and then I can save the seeds if the birds don't get them. I had, when I was picking cucumbers, I found one that had embedded in the fence. So part of it got left behind. Bumblebees were working this hard a little while ago. I'm not seeing them now, I hear them. When you're out in the garden and it's quiet, you can hear the bees. Ground cherry. This is a ground cherry and it's little paper husk. They'll fall to the ground when they're ripe. They taste, to me, they taste like a mix of a very mild tomato flavor and orange juice. Uh, watery, watered down orange juice is what they taste like to me. My husband says that they're, that one's empty, that they're different every time he has one. They're sweet but not um, overly so. See how the color of it is? after Because it's, it's ripe. Don't eat them until they fall to the ground. Don't know if we'll grow them next year. If we do, we're gonna grow them in a better spot because this one has stayed so small from no uh, sunshine. But that is uh, Aunt Molly's ground cherry. I got the seeds at Baker Creek. These canary zinnias that Baker Creek sent us for free, um, they have showed out all summer. They've done really well, too. Nice, cheerful, bright pop of color in the garden. Amaranth. It's a pretty pop of color, too. A little Polish tolbents. Their mama has completely weaned them away from her. He tries to be frizzled. That one there does. He tries to be. There's another one right there. They've kind of separated into groups. Um, not sure where the other ones are. The Silky and the Muscovy duck are still taking care of that duckling, but right now I see it. I see it way up there. Let's see. We'll probably scare it because it is a skittish little duckling. I don't see the, the Silky anywhere, and the Mama duck 
is in the coop. But there's the baby. I'm sure the silky is somewhere by nearby, but they're still sharing, taking care of it. Although the silky has started going to roost in the chicken coop. I hear it. I hear the silky calling her. I don't know how close we can get. Not very, <laughs> not very close. as I can get. Where's your mama? Where's your mama? Hmm? I was out here watering the potted stuff. Y'all see that? That's a bug. <laughs> um, that's a cucumber, so... I'd say he's like four inches long. Let's see if I, don't know if I can get too close to him. Dude. He would have to be in the asparagus. trying to get a good view of him for you. Let's see if we can... You know, I don't know if he's a bad bug or a good bug. bug. I can't get a good enough look at him to see what kind of bug he is. Get where we can see you. I'm kind of seeing. My camera will quit focusing on the fence. I'm all about the bugs. <laughs> I don't know if he's a good bug or a bad a bad one. Probably a bad one. He's hiding from the chickens and there was a bug over here. I don't know if it's still here or not because I watered. No. I don't know what it was either. It was a unusual bug, big bug, but not nearly, not nearly as big as that thing. Yeah, I was looking at that cucumber right there because uh, those asparagus ferns break me out. And I was thinking, how can I get to that cucumber? And then I seen that that bug. <laughs> I thought, really now, how am I going to get to that cucumber? I think it's a Dobson fly. My understanding is, if it's a Dobson fly and it bites you, it's going to hurt. So we're not going to mess with him too much. But that's what I think it is, is a Dobson fly.